Hey everyone, I'm Jason from Zykit.com. I design models for 3D printing all day long, so my desk is a mess because I'm just wrapping up the next level Kickstarter. But I am in the market for a new 3D printer, something that's faster and more reliable. So if you're in the market for something like that, then come along with me, we'll hop on the computer, and I'll go over some printers that I've kind of been considering and maybe you should consider too. Okay, so first on the list is our budget pick, which is the Elegoo Neptune 4. There is also a pro version of this printer for just a little bit more. Still under $300, but it adds the segmented heated bed. So if you're looking for that, this would be a good option to choose. The printer itself has a build volume of 225 by 225 by 265 millimeters. Kind of a standard build volume, just slightly bigger than an Ender 3. And it both speeds up to 500 millimeters a second. Although as a bed slinger, I don't know that I would run it at that very often, but it has auto leveling, a high temperature nozzle, and a direct extruder for like flexible filaments. So um, all around, it looks like a decent printer. I haven't personally tested it myself, but I have heard good things about the Elegoo Neptune series printers. So this would be our budget pick. Okay, the next printer on our list of printers to consider this year would be the Creality K1. Now, not everyone's a big fan of Creality. Um, I have used several Creality FDM printers in the past, uh, but this printer is kind of what they're launching as their flagship series. They have the K1 and the K1 Max, which just has a bigger build volume, but these are Core XY machines, which means that the Head is the part that moves around on the X and the Y, and the bed goes up and down on the Z axis. So you're gonna get a little bit more stability and they can go at faster speeds. Um, if uh, you're a big Creality fan, then this would maybe be the printer for you. Moving on, we have the Bamboo Labs P1P 3D printer. Now, this printer got a lot of attention when it came out. It is actually the second printer that Bamboo Labs has put out after their successful Kickstarter for the Bamboo Labs Carbon X1, which we'll get to a little bit later. That's also on the list. This printer has been a favorite online. I've seen lots of people on Instagram and YouTube using this printer. It is a Core XY machine but it doesn't have an enclosure like some of their other machines do now. They've recently lowered the price and put it on sale, so it's currently the same price as the Creality K1 at $599. I'm not sure if they're gonna keep that price point. Uh, the normal price, it looks like, is $699, and it looks like a lot of people paid that for it, but this is what appears to be a very fast, a very reliable 3D printer. If you mostly print in PLA and you're happy with that, and you don't mind the dinky little touch screen that it comes with, this printer would be a great option. Next printer on the list coming in at $699, which occasionally it's on sale, looks like it's on sale today, but it is the Anchor Make M5 3D printer. They also ran a Kickstarter for this 3D printer, which was very successful. It has AI camera monitoring, so you can check on your prints. It can print up to 500 millimeters a second. It is still a bed slinger though, so the bed actually is gonna move forward and backwards, and it won't ever probably quite get the speeds that a Core XY gets, at least consistently. So, um, a great middle of the road bed slinger. If you're looking for a review of this 3D printer, I highly recommend Gaming Geek's video. I'll put a link down in the description, but he tried out this printer and he was quite happy with how it performed. So check that out. Um, a great uh, bed slinger option if that's what you're looking for. Here is the newest 3D printer on the list, I believe, and that is the Bamboo Labs P1S. Now this is I'm sure from feedback of people with the P1P, which we looked at two printers ago, um, this printer basically takes that and it adds an enclosure. So if you wanna do high temperature filaments or if you want to do 
um, like just ABS and things that are prone to warping, then this would be a great option. They launched it at $699, which is really a pretty good price for this printer. It's fast, it has the enclosure, and it has the, uh, I believe it's got the PEI build plate, the gold PEI build plate. So th these are just great upgrades to have, and it's launching at the same price that they launched the P1P originally. So honestly, I would probably get this printer over the P1P. And if you're looking to do multicolor or multi-material or and just want to have like everything built in, you can also get it with their um, AMS system and that allows you to do up to four filaments. You can hook up three of these AMS systems and print with up to 12 colors. It is an additional couple hundred dollars here, so it brings it to 950 for just one of these AMS systems. But if you are interested in multicolor printing or just want to print the supports in a like water soluble material or something like that, then that provides you the flexibility to do so. I would highly recommend looking closer at this printer if, if your budget allows it. Moving on here, we are looking at Prusa's new 3D printer, which is the Mark IV um, kit. Now this kit is $100 more than Bamboo Labs P1S and it doesn't have an enclosure, but people really love Prusa machines and they've proven themselves in the industry. They've, they've been around for years and they provide a decent printer. So um, if you are a big Prusa fan, then this printer is capable of, of high speeds and generally they're fairly reliable. A lot of people love them. I personally am not a Prusa guy, so um, I do not have these printers, but if you are, then their new printer, the Mach 4, came out. Um, if you want it assembled, though, it is $1,099. You're going to wait three to four weeks for the assembled version. You're going to wait seven to eight weeks for a kit. So for my timeline, I did not want to wait that long. So I skipped over this printer. But all in all, it's a great printer. So if, like I said, if you're a Prusa, Prusa guy, Prusa gal, then check out the Prusa MK4. All right, now we're jumping up in price here a little bit. Now, this is the Voron 2.4. And so what a Voron is, if you don't know, it's an open source 3D printer. So you can build your own, you can source your own parts. What I'm looking at here is a kit that's sold by Matter Hackers. And they um, provide all the extra parts for you, but you still have to 3D print your own, all the 3D printable components. So there's still some work to do. So if you do not currently have a 3D printer, I do not recommend getting this kit because you won't be able to finish it. So um, the kit itself though is $1,449. Now that may seem high, but people really love the Voron machines. And if you don't wanna to try to source all the different components yourself, then buying a kit, there's several, there's several sellers out there on the internet. I just picked Matter Hackers because I've uh, purchased things from Matter Hackers before and they usually provide good customer service. So if uh, you're looking at buying a complete kit, building your own machine, tinkering around, and you already have a 3D printer, then a Voron might be a good option. There's different sizes too. This isn't the only size you can build. You can build a variety of different uh, Voron printers at this time. So just Google it and you'll, you'll be able to see um, the kits. For my own personal use, I didn't want to tinker there anymore. I've tinkered quite a bit on my old machines and I am looking for something that's just ready to go out of the box. Um, but that may not be for everyone. So if you're kind of in the market to for a project really, then a Voron might be a great option. They're fast and customizable. So check them out. Now we move into kind of the premium uh, Bamboo Labs offering. Now this was like I mentioned earlier, a successful Kickstarter for Bamboo Labs. It was their first printer. The carbon added a carbon filter um, and it has 
the AMS system comes with it, so you can do multi-material. It has a bigger touch screen. Uh, it's a Core XY machine. Um, it's enclosed. It has an aluminum body so that uh, you can uh, print uh, high temperature filaments and uh, help prevent the warping that occasionally happens on 3D printing. So um, this printer is is up there in price, but it is a good all around printer. People on the internet love it. Um, I've, I have several customers that have these printers and have been very happy with their performance. They're fast, they're accurate. Um, if your budget allows it, this is a great 3D printer to look at. All right, the final printer on my list that you should look at is the Prusa XL. Now, the thing is, this printer you probably won't actually be able to get your hands on right now. It is still um, taking some time to process the orders. They're saying that they'll, new orders won't be processed till the end of 2023. So if you wanna get your hands on one of these, it might be difficult. They're also the most expensive printer on the list, but that comes with kind of the Prusa brand and so you would be buying into a company that's been around for a while that's been doing good things so the prusa xl has a variety of configurations it comes with one nozzle standard and semi-assembled for two thousand dollars so again if you don't want to put anything together um, this may not be the one for you but you can also customize this 3d printer and add up to five extruders but that bumps the price up $3,500 for a semi-assembled machine and if you want that assembled you will be going to just about four thousand dollars so multi-extruders might be something you're looking for if it's not i wouldn't recommend adding it because you're just going to bump the cost if you're really into multi-material or color printing then five extruders might make sense for you I did look at this machine um, as an option, but having to wait till the end of the year and then also that price tag is a big deterrent. So um, for my taste, this one ended up being out, but if your budget allows it, if you know what you're gonna do with those five extruders or this printer, then maybe it's the one for you. Otherwise, I would look at some of the other printers that we've already talked about. So which 3D printer should you get? Well, I'll tell you which one I ended up choosing. I went with the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. Now, it had all the features I was looking for. It had the speed, it had the accuracy, it was a Core XY machine. It also enabled me to start looking into color 3D printing. So, if these are all features you're looking for, then maybe consider the Bamboo Labs um, Carbon X1. But you don't necessarily have to spring for that machine either. Now with the P1S coming out, um, that is a valid option. There's only a few differences and you can look at a comparison chart on their website and see if any of those differences make sense for you to spend the extra on the machine. For me, the Carbon X1 just uh, fit the bill and has already allowed me to prototype my design so much faster than before. I can print something three to five times faster and see if I need to make any adjustments before moving on to the next design. So um, as a designer, this printer has really improved my quality of life and I would recommend it to anyone that's looking to up the speed in their daily printing. Thanks for coming along with me as we looked at all these 3D printers. If you like this kind of content and want to see more about 3D printing or behind the scenes of design, then please consider subscribing, give this video a like, ring that bell, leave me a comment down below and let me know which 3D printers you're looking at or which one you actually ended up buying. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you next time.